A developing story now teachers fighting to save their jobs. Teachers who have gotten pink slips are meeting this week with a judge who can rule against those layoffs. And our tenders reporter Mary McKenzie spoke with teachers who say this latest round of cuts may force them out of teaching altogether. I spoke to one teacher who's inside at Madison High School right now fighting for his job facing his second layoff scare. He thinks this round will make many young teachers rethink their choice of career, even if hundreds of teachers are spared in this round of layoffs. No. Will they or won't they get to keep their jobs? It's a question hundreds of district employees are asking today as they attend the first day of hearings at Madison High School. They have a chance this week to petition their pink slips, although many of them won't know if their prize or her until early May. That's how long a judge has to make those decisions. Veteran educator Lorene Dabney, with 30 years under her belt, thought she was safe. I was not prepared. I was completely blindsided. I told them that I'm one of the ones who've been laid off. They gasped and they were very upset. What's going to happen to you if you don't come back next year? Some teachers will likely be spared also as other educators take a golden handshake. But for some educators, the whiplash effect is simply too much. In Claremont, Mary McKenzie, 10 News.